he said you know he cheated on his wife first in their matrimonial home does that give her the right to do that on live tv to get you pissed i don't know now the main issue here is that boma told perry that he slept with tega and her <clears throat> you understand what i'm trying to say smells like fish and perry told queen what's up my people how on a day waiting they happen waiting this up welcome back to our channel okay guys <laughs> remember i told you all that this is a stunt some of you refuse to believe me and now it's out <laughs> uche madwagu jim ike i don't know who reached out to who maybe jim ike reached out to uche madwagu that look let us do a skit <laughs> or let us prank these people on social media i don't know who reached out to who. well finally bad comments the movie went viral thanks to uche madwagu and uh, yeah and um <laughs> and jim ike for their well orchestrated prank on us <laughs> you call my office you won't beat me up i'm here check me out i'm here i'm here i'm here they told me you're going to be here tonight let's spend 100 million there 100 million there i think this movie 100 million there where do you get the money how do you get that money 100 million there to promote this movie that is I you get the money, Jimai. What are you doing? Let me tell you. Don't go worry. ESC is coming to carry you. Hundred million naira for, for movie. In this Nigeria, where where money go day? Where do you see money? Hundred million naira. You go meet me. My friend, you fight the Kwado. See me if you fight. Okay, we go meet now. We go meet again. Jimai, we go meet again. See me if you fight. You won't beat me. You won't beat me, Abi. Okay, round two they come. Hundred million naira. What do? How you get make your money? Everybody in Russia goes watch uh, bank comedy. You know how you make money. You know how you make money. You take the day, take the next month around. Guys, I just stumbled on this report. Alleged 350,000 employment fraud. Court freezes Governor Biodun's ex aids bank account seizes lucky home a federal high court sitting in lagos has ordered the interim for feature of some funds and properties traced to mr abidemi ganiyo rufai now let's come down um according to an affidavit sworn by an efcc investigator usman um, rufai had already dissipated a suspicious 29.37 million uh, naira in tranches of 5 million 5 million 2.7 million 1 point wow the funds were warehoused in his account in three banks remember this was the guy that was arrested by fbi you know as john f kennedy at the airport when he was about leaving new york and of course they said that this guy stole over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars um we're just getting a report you know about this guy but i i expect more report about him before now especially what's going on with this case over there although we the last report i got about this guy was that the the court case and how it was adjourned i think um and also how the fbi is still investigating the matter well this is an updated information about that what the fbi have been doing i think they are working um alongside efcc on this matter um yeah so guys that is it let us move straight to the next one and this time is about the big news now this whole this thing has gone viral bb ninja we saw a clip on social media from big brother ninja and it's about boma and tega the female is tega and the male is boma they were found in bed uh, doing something <laughs> cuddling kissing romancing caressing each other <laughs> now the funny thing is not really funny is that the tega lady is married a married woman now when i saw the clip the first clip that came out you know the i think truth or dare game where she allowed somebody to suck her boobs <laughs> you know uh, 
at first I was like married woman well you know it's okay the, the husband came out you know supported her and said you know it's my wife I still love my wife it's a game and stuff oh cool I knew it wasn't gonna end there but you know you just have to chill because as a married woman you have to give that respect that space that okay until we see that video before we can see anything well finally the clip came out this lady kissing cuddling Boma she's married with a kid and guess what the <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna read other people's reactions before the husband's but it's just the husband's reaction about this that just was like i was like okay okay that's that's fine <laughs> i removed my hand in that that's your own problem your own cross to carry and guys guess what that is not even the main issue now the main issue here is that boma told perry that he slept with tega and her <clears throat> you understand what i'm trying to say smells like fish and perry told queen check out the cycle now queen told tega about it that look this is what boma told perry that he slept with you and your mm -mm. smells like fish and tega of course confronted boma about it in fact just talk to boma about it and she says queen told me just check out the conversation here queen told me you told perry that we had sex and boma asked did we have sex trying to play dumb right and Tega replied even if we had sex and Boma tells Perry how is that my business it's Boma that is stupid now excuse me hello we stupid here yeah, I don't know <laughs> plenty plenty things we're not supposed to happen for DC life in fact eh, my sh her shame they shame me <laughs> guys uh this is complicated let us read people's reaction somebody says here suddenly everyone is bashing tega for kissing a fellow housemate because she's married but same people called nini boring because she wouldn't kiss just any housemate because she values her relationship outside the show the hypocrisy on this twitter eh? and somebody replied there is nothing like hypocrisy how will you feel like a married man watching your wife kiss another man on national tv a lot of married women are sex starved married women are very easy to get now men f your wives you won't hear more reactions by the way just woke up to the video of Boma and Tega and I'm very pained. I wouldn't even lie. I was so happy to see a married woman appear on the show. For the first time, I was really rooting her. Only for her to come and do this dirty thing. I'm really pained though, as in Boma of all people. Boma is a big disgrace to manhood. I know he's sick, but I just can't believe it can go as low as this. And even Tega, she doesn't deserve to be called a wife at all. How can you do this to a man who is handling your social campaign while you ch chase your dream, your husband? Boma is the kind of friend that will be effing his friend's wife, girlfriend on a low key. Imagine leaving all the single girls and go after married woman without thinking twice. Shame on Tega anyways. I think the, we, we, yeah, we have to blame both of them. But at the same time, the woman herself, I, I'm not going to say, you know, like, I blame both of them, but I blame the woman more because you know, camera is on you. Everybody's watching the husband's families. They are watching, you know, uh, uh, your own family. They are watching. And this is, uh, this everything's on camera. This is not some sex tape that, you know, that you're not aware of. You're aware of these things. And the husband in reaction to that said, she did that to spite him or something he said you know he cheated on his wife first in their matrimonial home 
does that give her the right to do that on live tv to get you pissed i don't know but hey this is the husband there is no way his words will, or this decision will always be above everyone's if he, if he says he's not you know pained by that or angry who am i or who are you guys on social media anyways guys let us read exactly what he says we are two imperfect people the passing four hours has been hell for us as a family are you sure it's been hell okay i've wronged my wife in so many ways but cheating on her was what broke the bond we had as a couple before you judge me please note that i'm not perfect i'm not the best husband as you all think i am i cheated on my wife in our matrimonial home i am not proud of this this mistake has caused um so much damage in our marriage to the extent of her threatening to leave our once happy home in my own little way i have tried to make amends for everything i have done wrong i have tried to support her dreams to campaign and defend her and also to be a better man but all these are done in her absence she doesn't deserve me she deserves her happiness and peace of mind and if she's doing or saying anything to spite me it's because i deserve it i'm sorry babe for not being the man you wanted me to be for you i am sorry for everything i'm just a man that hurt and hope to be forgiven i love my wife and will give her all the support she needs even if she doesn't forgive me i want the best for her because she has been nothing but the best woman in my life god bless you all for your prayers and support <laughs> okay here we've got dot soon d-o to the t-u-n he said this before this guy is a prophet <laughs> and now he's saying it again he said i said this before but some people crucified me the only reason why a ninja man would let his wife go for bb ninja is either he lost his place and he wants to redeem himself yes because a married man in ninja man would not allow his wife to leave that house and go to some show called big brother ninja i mean at least uh, you know the ones i know the married ninja men that i know you know or i've encountered or i've seen on social media of course guys talk some will that doesn't mean that it's all of them some will but this guy said it that the only reason then he said it like maybe something is going on in that marriage and the husband just wants to be that good husband and stuff he continues here um to he wants to redeem himself an open marriage um uh, loves fame or doesn't care whoever told him to write that piece doesn't like him at all this is a woman that also has a child in in a marriage let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about that moving on to the next news let us go to ghana here um here we've got the singer irene is her name right she opens up on her smoking habit i mean she still smokes though you would expect that she stopped smoking before this interview but yeah she, i think she's still smoking um i started smoking cigarettes in the beginning of my uh, um, burst into the limelight after stars of the future probably after one year so, so that was your early 20s yeah uh, in my early 20s um mind you I, i'm from a very protected family i mean i grew up very protected mom. my mom never smoked i never saw my father smoke my parents don't even drink alcohol you know so um just having that freedom to get out there and being exposed trying to fit in you know sitting around in places where i could see people boldly smoking let me fair i wanted to try it so i tried it the first time i remember the first time i tried smoking Omoa, I was Omoa, coughing Omoa, and everyone was laughing at me and I was so upset because <laughs> she, <laughs> I wanted to conquer it so that's first how I started time, practicing yeah. practicing until first time you're uh, hey, <laughs> yeah so um that's how I started smoking but as the years um came and uh, uh the calling started becoming stronger it's like there was a battle 
for my soul um i went deep into smoking cigarettes like depression i could sit down i remember before maybe i'll smoke 10 sticks a day then it went to one pack it got to a time i was smoking almost two packs of cigarettes a day <laughs> guys i stumbled on this video um i saw a video of a fan trying to hug speed darlington you know just a random guy trying to hug speed darlington and speed darlington wasn't feeling it like man i don't know you man just leave me alone you know some celebrities would have been like okay cool yeah let's take picture but i understand you know speed darlington doesn't know this person might be a dangerous person you know anything can happen especially in nigeria so he snubbed the guy and did a video after that and here's what speed darlington have to say let's watch people don't mean nothing if i'm on that unauthorized i go shove you for the third time you are a fan i am a creator we are not friends friendship is different you just met me you already putting your hands on me at like we go back like men and a boy you came with the temete i'm showing you so long ago fuck up that's speed darlington right there now guys i'm just I'm shocked to see this seriously shocked these are guys my people guys beautiful guys not girls the picture you're seeing right here uh, j boogie and diva they are cross dressers and they look good than the owners of the gender i'm just kidding <laughs> this is where we find ourselves in 2021 guys now looking like females let us move straight to the next one <laughs> Guys, check this out. Look at government chairman empowers constituents with Yam, Hole, and Cutlass. Yam, Hole, and Cutlass. You never finish. Now, guys, it was gathered that this empowerment program was organized to mark the 30th anniversary of the creation of the Oban Liku local government. <laughs> in Cross River State moving on to the next news this is very very wicked of this lady this lady poured hot water on a 10 year old because she's a housemaid that's why you pour like hot water now she didn't stop there she actually mixed hot water and pepper and i think asked her to drink this burnt the little girl's mouth lips and throat then she took her to a local chemist for treatment the nigerians will understand what i'm trying to say by a local chemist right and she took this girl there for treatment and um the lady or whoever is treating the the child was like okay i think you need to take this child to the hospital and she actually took this child to the chemist because the local chemist because um she was scared that the, the child might die you know um in the house but the local chemist told her to take her to the hospital and she refused and say look we know you believe in our treatment but we think hospital is better and if we don't take a quick action this child might die and i'm gonna feel guilty all my life knowing that the child is dying and i refuse to say anything i think that's why conscience made that chemist spoke out okay guys that's so sad and crazy Straight to the next news here we've got a lady right crying and the reason is because her uncle threw her and her widowed mother out of the house and the siblings three girls one boy see i don't know you see when people mention cousins dad brothers uncles um dad sisters or, ma or mom brother like it's strange to me <laughs> honestly because i don't even know these people my dad didn't even allow them come close to us so i don't even know <laughs> even if i meet them somewhere today i wouldn't even recognize them it's just me my mom my brothers and sister uh, but it's just uh, a shame to um to see something like this knowing fully well that the dad worked so hard you know to build that house and somebody from nowhere kicked them out i mean what kind of wickedness is that 
and this is a man who also has a, a male child so what is the why what gave him the right i don't understand maybe maybe we need to hear more details about this thing let's watch this video good morning good morning world my name is auna victory since i lost my father on the night of september 2020 since then my uncle has not allowed us to rest he just just oh just brought all our goods out this is all our belongings He just chased out of, our father, out of my father's compound. Please, I need you guys to help me. <laughs> my mother is a widow. We are three, we are four. Three girls and one boy. Since then, my, my uncle has not allowed us to rest from this court case to the other. Now he just sent out of our father's property. Look at all that belonging. I'm calling for justice for my father. <laughs> Here we have Mike Bamiloe saying, you dress seductively to church, you dress to kill, you danced suggestively to praise and worship songs, you dance to kill, you tag yourself, slay queen in the house of God, are you a hired assassin? Guys, let me know what you think about this. Anyways, here we've got the random president saying, I have closed over 6,000 churches and a mosque in my country and I am now demanding for a theology degree for every religious leader. Stop playing with people's faith and making it a business. Rwanda is already a blessed country. That's what Rwanda's president said, Paul Kagame. Do you think this can happen in Nigeria? Is this even possible? And another question, do you think it's right for him to do that? Well, Let's move straight to the next one. He won his first gold in 1974. And now it's on the streets of Enugu begging just to feed. It is a shame, guys. Let us watch his interview. By the way, he's blind, just so you know. Steven, Ubo. Where are you from? I'm from Nome, in County East. We see you wearing medal. How yeah. did you get this medal? I won this medal in Commonwealth Games, 1974, in Australia. What did you perform in the games? I performed boxing. And who did you defeat? I defeat a man from New Zealand. We call it Sylvester Hancock. By unanimous decision or a knockout? By knockout in the second round. And what goal did you get? I get gold medal. Gold medal? Yes. Um, when you came back to Nigeria, what did the government do for you? During that time, it was the time of the one government. I was quartered in Dodan Barak, giving food and any, many things. No, you know that thing that they have accorded me. The only way anywhere I'm going, they give me a military police escort in Dodan Barak. And at the end of the day, what has the government done for you? Not after they sent me to Ozo as a coach. After I stayed there was nine months, they retired me. But uh, they have got their own coach. He returned from Ovas. So, um, you are also a national uh, sports festival gold medalist, 1975. Yes, 1975. What did you win then? I win gold. In what? In the same boxing. Now, what is your appeal to the government? My appeal to the government is if the government can, because I have applied so many help, all are in vain. What I can do, beg the government now, if they can provide, there is a certain working stick. They say they are giving the blind men. If they can give it to me, I will be all right. Secondly, some people in my village are harassing me that I should not remain with them, but I am not old so that they don't want me to stay with them. My compound, the people are dealing So what with are your conditions now? What are your conditions, My condition sir? is no way. I'm begging before I could eat, unless a good people help me to give me food shop, give me money, as an al alam. Unless they, they give me go, go some good friends, try to dash me or something before I could eat. I'm not a blind man, so I can have nothing to afford, and I begged good Nigerian users to help me. I think how I used to feed. Sir, you made mention of Ohu. Can you tell us in English for those that don't? Okay. Don't. Now, now, mm -hmm. 
um, you won both uh, a, a, a national gold medal and also won Common world Commonwealth gold medal. Yes. Now this medal. Mathematicians hold conference to solve Nigerians' insecurity. A rich to call mathematician on top of our matter. A rich. I'm not even. <laughs> This country, I've said this, we need to be uh, on Netflix. Moving on, guys, I just want you guys to listen to this man, okay? He's got something to say about Nigeria. Let's watch. Is there nobody to take responsibility? I want to believe that we have all failed. I mean, I failed as an imam to teach you that life is sacred. You all failed as parents to teach your children that killing is bad. Our community leaders failed. Our politicians failed. Governors failed. Especially His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you have failed us. We have your video telling Nigerians that the military is capable. Our military is capable. It has all the requirement to tackle this uh, insurgency. And if you are voted into power, you are going to make sure that happen in a short time. You have given four years an addition. Yet, people are dying like fowls. Killing is becoming norm in Nigeria under your watch, Mr. President. If, if there is no Nigerian to tell you, I will take the responsibility of telling you. And I will take the responsibility of the consequences. Because the life and properties of Nigerians is above all. Let me tell you, Mr. President, under your watch, bandits are demanding, are taxing Nigerians. Is that the provision of the Constitution of Nigeria? Under the provision of Constitution of Nigeria, no one has the right to tax any Nigerian, except being authorized by the federal government or any other constituted authority. I'm not a, a learned person, but I'm not a layman. I'm telling you, Mr. President, you are to take responsibility. Okay, that's where we're going to hold it. Today's question, what is expensive for no reason at all? What do you think is expensive for no reason at all. You've thought about it and you'd be like, why is this expensive for crying out loud? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. Until we see you next time, peace.